In this video, we will get you started on creating your very first Java application. So after installing your JDK, the Java Development Kit, as well as installing IntelliJ IDEA, the community version, you will get to a screen like this when you run IntelliJ for the first time. You'll see there's the version, so I'm currently using this version, which uh, was basically the newest version when installing it. And then you've got some options there. You've got create a new project, import the project, open the project, or looking at some version control, which we will not have a look at now. So what we basically want to do is to create a new project. So creating a new project is the same as saying I'm creating a new application in IntelliJ. So I'm going to click on creating a new project. It will load the templates and then it will give you the screen. So you'll see there, there's a selection for Java and some other stuff there. So we're going to keep it Java there. You're going to click on Java there. And then you can see the project software development kit, which is basically the Java development kit that we did, uh, that we downloaded. So you're just going to make sure that you've got that specific one selected here. So remember, we downloaded Java development kit 8 update 162. So this is the one I want to select here. You can see I've got other versions on my app, on my uh, laptop as well, on my computer as well. Uh, but I'm going to choose that one. Also, if you need to go and search for a specific one, you can go to new there and you can browse to your specific JDK that you downloaded. There's some additional libraries and frameworks. We're not going to get into those. So you can just say next at the bottom. Also not going to create a project from a template. We're going to start from scratch. So you're going to say next. Then the next screen will be your project name. So for the project name, I'm going to call this one Hello World. Normally the first program you write in any programming language. So we're going to have Hello World as the project's name. And then your project location you can choose there using the three dots. If you want to put it somewhere else, uh, mine will be fine in the default. So then I'm going to say finish at the bottom and then your project gets created. So now the project is created. On the left hand side you can see uh, project there, you can see packages and so forth. But we're going to keep at the project view there. So if you go into the project view, you'll see a few folders. You'll see the idea folder, which we're basically not going to do anything with. The hello world IML file, we're not going to do anything with it. The one that we are interested in is the source file folder there. So it's the SRC folder. So what we want to do is to start creating our source files in this specific folder. So I'm going to right click that folder and I'm going to say new. And you can see there's a new Java class, which we essentially want to create. But we're going to arrange our Java files to be in packages. So I'm going to create a package first. Now, what is a package? A package is basically a namespace that organizes a set of related classes and later on interfaces also. So conceptually, you can think of packages as being similar to different folders on your computer. And you might keep, for example, HTML pages in one folder. You can keep images in another and whatever your applications in another folder. So because software written in the Java programming language can be composed of hundreds or even thousands of individual classes, it makes sense to keep things organized by placing related classes and interfaces later on in packages. So for now, let's just keep the package as com.foundations. Right, so that's the package name, com.foundations, and you're going to say OK. And I can see I've got a package where I will place all my foundation uh, type of classes. So I'm going to say new there. Again, right click on your package, say new again, and you're going to choose Java class. And we're going to keep this Java class also as hello world. Please note that for creating new class names or classes, there cannot be any spaces. So you can use the underscore whatever, but you cannot start with a letter or uh, a number. Sorry, you cannot start with a number. You can start with letters of the alphabet. And then normally our classes would be all capital letters when we start creating the class with no spaces. And every subsequent wo uh, word, we will capitalize that word, that word. So, which means that if I want to say hello world, world will be my second word. So I'll capitalize the W. But it's not, it's just a good programming principle to do it like that. And then the kind of uh, create class that we want to create here, you can create classes, interfaces, and so forth. So we're going to keep at a normal class. And then say OK. So then our class will be created. And you can see that under your package, you will now have your Hello World class. Now the Hello World class, you cannot run. You can see there's no run uh, command anywhere here. 
because this class does not have a main method to run from. So when you start off, you'll see that your class will basically just have a class declaration. So now a class declaration in Java will basically start with the keyword public and then class to say, well, this is our class name and then your class name. So that's the one that we chose now when we created the class. So the class name is obviously up to you as programmer what the name of the class would be, but it must be public and it must be class for now. Okay, then inside of your two brackets is where everything happens now. So now inside of this, we need one method, which is the following public static void main. And we'll talk a bit more about static and void and so forth when we get to methods. So for now, just use the main method or see the main method as the main method where everything starts in your application. So we're going to have string as an array ARGS there and that's your main method and as soon as you've got the main method you can see there's a play button that now appears because now we can run our application every application will need the main method so there's another shorter way to do this instead of typing public static void main out there's a p public public static void main psvm which is a shortcut or a live template that you can use and by just clicking and selecting it it opens up that whole piece of coding for you and you can start coding right away so it's up to you whether you want to type it out or you just use the live template there so again the live template is just public static void main public static void main I think it's done because I already did it so just to do it again public static void main and there you can see there's the the live template and you can use that template okay so now inside of my main method is where everything happens uh, my application starts inside of my main method so just to look at this again you can see at the top we can see that this specific class that's called hello world.java is in the package called com.foundations and we can see it there as well there's com.foundations and there's the java file then the class declaration just after your package is public class hello world. That's the name of our class. It's publicly accessible, which means it's accessible in any of my packages. So if I've got another package with classes, it will be accessible there as well. But we'll talk about access specifiers later on. Right. And then you can see there's an opening bracket and there's a closing bracket. And then when we start and we get into our main method there, there's also a closing, an opening and a closing bracket. So that's very important to note that it starts there, the method, and it ends there. It starts there, the class, and it ends there. Okay, so we're just going to do something simple now by just basically printing out something to the screen. So for that, we can use the system.out.print line. And this will basically just print a line of text to the screen. So... When you work with strings or text in Java, we use the double quotation marks. When you use characters, which is only one character, you use the single quotation marks. So for this, the print line method accepts basically a double quotation mark, which is normal text. So we're going to say something like, let's just say, hello world. Okay, and that's basically what we want to print out. Now, if you use system out print line a lot, you can also just say SOP, which is a live template for system out print line. And that just gives you system out print line as well. OK, so we've got hello world there. Let's run this application. So you, we can click on that little play button there and say uh, run hello world main. And it will then start running your application. Right. So you can see there it prints out hello world to the screen and then it's finished. So let's say hello new world. If you want to run it again, you can see then the run button there appears at the top. Save that you want to run this specific main method. And you can see there change to hello new world. So congratulations. This is your very first application. I think just before we uh, stop with this video, very important in Java, every single line in Java must be closed down by a semicolon except for where you've got brackets you can see there's no semicolon or where you have class headers or where you have method headers but for every single line of code that you need to execute there must be a semicolon at the end congratulations for running your very first application